Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to hop on here real quick and do a fast video on how to uh, model and multiply fractions. I know I've gotten uh, several questions this morning about how to do the model. So I'm going to show you real quick. Um, so let's say, for example, we wanted to do one third times two fifths. So first thing I'm going to do is write it out like that. One third times two fifths. And now I'm going to draw a picture for each. So one third, I could draw like that. Here's one third. And then two fifths, I'm going to do the same size picture, but instead of doing columns, I'm going to do rows. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shade in one, two. All right, now, basically what's going to happen is we're going to overlay or put those two things over top of each other. Okay, so in other words, we're going to do one picture, one combined picture that is going to look like that. So it's going to have both columns and rows. All right, so I'm going to start off by putting my one third in there, like that. And now over here, I'm going to take my two fifths and I'm going to draw five rows going that way. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay. Now, just like here, I'm going to shade two of those rows. So it's going to look like that. Okay. And then basically the answer to our question is, okay, how many boxes in total are there? Okay. Well, we have a, a five by three. So five by three in total is... 15, so there's my 15, and then our numerator is going to be, all right, how many of those little boxes have double shading from both the one-third and the two-fifths? And that's the section right over here, all right? We went down, then we went across, so let me color them in dark so you can see a little more clearly where they are, all right? And uh, hopefully you're seeing that that's actually two little boxes in that cell, right? One, two. Which makes sense because up here, what's one times two? It's going to be two. And then on the, on the bottom, to check it, we can look at three times five, which is going to give us 15. All right. So that's where these pictures are coming from. They're coming from an overlay of columns, in this case, one out of three, and rows, in this case, two out of five. All right. As always, uh, let me know if you have questions. Thanks.